What's that? Do you feel anything? Why are you quiet again, Helvis? Are you already detecting something? This way in a long time. What do you mean? My name is Atlas, Frontier's greatest AI. Oh, stop joking around, Helvis. It's not funny. So it was called Helvis. Who are you? What happened to Helvis? Your friend has fallen into a deep sleep for the time being. If you don't bring back Helvis this instant, you're going to regret it. If you destroy me, your friend will be buried here for eternity. But if that's what you want, then fine. If you want to see your friend again, help me get to my destination. How do I know I can trust you? It is up to you whether you decide to trust me. But if you want your friend back, you have no choice. Damn it, Helvis. Spaceship? We finally found the spaceship, Helvis. Your friend can't hear you. Look, Atlas, I don't have much time. We have to hurry up and get to orbit. Can you just let us go? You can go if you want. I never denied you your free will. But your friend has no choice. The spaceship is ready. <sighs> Are you worried? Of course I'm not leaving on my own. I'm returning to orbit with Helvis. Hmm. Keep moving.
Walk into the warp gate. Did we just teleport? Amazing. Teleportation is the foundation of time travel. I'm an AI that was developed to activate the time travel system. Is that what Helvis was talking about? The mission I was given was to use that power so that Earth can be reborn anew. Earth will be reborn anew? In order to revert Earth to a time when humans can live.
Strange. I feel like I've been here before. Oh, this thing again. As you can see, Frontier used black leopards and crystal energy to create rapids. They even made mecha drapolets by fusing them with robot technology. You have to pass through here and travel to another time and space. Hurry up and defeat it. Once all the shelter's resources were exhausted, the humans of Frontier started various projects in order to survive one way or another. The main ones were the New Civilization Project and the Earth Purification Project. The scholars who gathered, regardless of their field of specialty, used animals that had adapted to the crystal energy environment. They also researched cyborg creation and cloning, in addition to performing various forms of analysis and fusion trials. In the end, they even began performing tests on humans. Some people's bodies were able to accept the crystals, but even they didn't live for too long. It's disgustingly cruel to do that to another human being. The trials resulted in some failures, but a crystal with incredible energy appeared in the process. Appeared? The researchers took more of an interest in the crystal's energy than irrelevant human testing. They found a way to use the crystal and immersed themselves in new research. So, did they figure it out? Yes, they discovered time travel. But time travel required an enormous amount of energy, far beyond our expectations. 
They couldn't go out to get crystal energy every time under such bad conditions. So instead, they tried to mass clone the successful human test subjects and use the crystal energy within their bodies. Treating life like it's something disposable. How could they? But look at the state of the Earth right now. How did they fail after everything they did? One called Pyrrha was born to that fate, but changed her own destiny. Pyrrha joined hands with the forces that opposed the trials, and ultimately sparked a rebellion to take over the central shelter. After that, Pyrrha disbanded Frontier. That's amazing. Pyrrha, then what happened to Pyrrha and the Revolutionary Army? The rebel forces left Earth, and she... she died. I think the destination is a bit farther than expected. Why can't we go straight to the destination through the warp gate? Time and space are twisted in the warp gate, so you have to travel in the designated order to reach your destination.
This is the last warp gate. The promise we made in the beginning? Of course I haven't forgotten. I'll free your friend when I get to my destination. Thank <laughs> you. 